Hey, this is Nick Nelson, Mad Scientist of Muscle, and the exercise I got for you here is a variation of the rollout, but with a big difference, in that you're not actually rolling on anything. You're actually basically doing a suspended rollout. The trick is, you're going to measure and basically adjust how much weight you're going to use on the cable machine, because this is a cable exercise where you're actually going to be supporting yourself with vertical resistance from the cable. So, this cable weight stack is counterbalancing your upper body. So rather than rolling out and using gravity pushing down, you're actually gravity is pulling you up. Or sorry, the counterbalancing of the weight is pulling you up. It's a really cool variation of it that's going to keep massive tension on from start to finish to start to finish the whole time, essentially. I've got uh, 90 pounds on here. This is going to vary quite a lot depending on how heavy your weight stack is the dynamics of the uh, leverage based on how many pulleys you've got and all that. So experiment a little bit once you see how I do it. I prefer a straight handle with this. So you're going to take an underhand grip. Now, <clears throat> hold it and lock it in tight in behind your head. Keep your core nice and tight, a nice arch in your lower back. This part here, you're going to see, is the counterbalancing part. Come down. <clears throat> And now, come forward. Fun. Now, when you're doing this one, as you can see, when I'm coming down to the top end, you can actually let your elbows hit the ground just a little bit. So you're kind of using your body, I don't know, however the hell you want to put it, as an end point there. Your elbows at an end point so you can control the movement. When you're coming backwards, you keep your elbows a couple inches off the floor so that you're not actually sliding across the floor but you're suspending yourself using the counterbalance of the weight stack to counterbalance your upper body, and it's miserable. There's really, like I'm not kidding when I say there's no break in tension the entire time you're doing this exercise. It's a fantastic version of the rollout. You're going to get a good contraction at the top, monster stretch at the bottom, and maintain tension on it the whole way. Now, key point here, this can be a little bit tough on the lower back, so if you've got back issues, you might want to avoid this one. You do need to have a very strong core to perform this one correctly. So keep that in mind when you're doing it. Um, you can't really scale it down for beginners because if you have a lot less weight on there, you're not doing really a rollout like this. You're not counterbalancing enough of the weight to keep yourself up off the ground. So if you're strong in the core and want to give this one a try, you're in for a good miserable treat. Now one key thing I should mention with this one, what I've done here with my cable stack is I've actually used uh, about a four foot length of chain to get this lower into position. You may or may not need that for your stack. My cable isn't quite long enough, whereas if I were to just clip directly on there, there wouldn't be enough cable to get me into a low enough position. So by extending that, I've allowed enough cable to perform the exercise correctly. You might need to adjust that, you might not. So <laughs> keep that in mind when you're setting up the exercise. 